Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Are you afraid of close combat? Then yes, this video is for you. Today, in this video, I will show you Top best tips and settings for close range combat in Call of Duty Mobile. So watch the full video and hit like and subscribe button for more videos in future. So let's get started. Number 1. Shotguns most of pro players use shotguns in close combat, because its damage rate is very high. Always use shotguns with slide jump shoot technique in close combat, and always use cover in both multiplayer and battle royale for best shots, so practice your shotgun skill every day for best close combat result. Number 2. Use SMG gun with best sensitivity settings. Using SMG in close combat is always a best option because of high fire rate and damage. So before using SMG in close fight, always make adjustments in gun and upgrade your gun by spending XP cards and place gun in loadout. Next step is best sensitivity. So always use low values of camera and firing sensitivity. So for best firing sensitivity, Always set the value between 56 to 60 for both one tap aim and hip fire. So for best firing sensitivity, Always set the value between 56 to 60 for both one tap aim and hip fire. Number 3. Use hip fire mode. Hipfire is best option in close combat, because in hipfire mode, you can easily judge enemy's movement and strategy during close combat. Also another advantage of hipfire is you can shoot enemy without waste of time of scope opening, so it's best option for close combat. So I will recommend you to master your hipfire for winning every battle royale. Check out link in description for best hipfire accuracy tips. Number 4. Use first-person shooting mode in Battle Royale. Using first-person shooting in Battle Royale during close combat can also make your killings more easy because you can perform headshots very easily and damage your enemy fast. In this technique, this method will always help you if you are inside house and surrounded with many enemies. So use FFP option in TPP for better close combat experiences. Number 5. Backslide Movement Backslide movement is the popular movement in Call of Duty Mobile, especially for shotgun players. Using this option, you can fastly dodge and avoid enemy firing at you, so to make your game more fast, practice this movement during game. To perform this movement perfectly, set these values in both speed acceleration and distance acceleration. You can also use fixed acceleration too. I already made a video of what's best in these so check the link in the description below. Let's suppose this tree is the enemy, so all you need is to sprint and then slide and change direction to backward and fire. This will surprise your enemy and you can kill enemy instantly. See my movement in slow motion to better understand backslide shooting in Call of Duty Mobile. Number 6. Jiggle Movement In close combat, every time when you face enemy, don't start shooting at front, but do jiggle movement. Jiggle movement is actually moving from left to right fast and shoot at enemy. This will make enemy confuse, and you will also get yourself safe from enemy's bullets. So master this skill by practicing daily. Also for best result in jiggle movement, Always use small joystick size, because if joystick size is small, you can move fast in left-right direction. Number 7. Broken Movement 
Broken movement is the most popular and most used movement in Call of Duty Mobile. This broken movement is best if you are a shotgun player, so with this movement you not only kill enemy in instant, but also make yourself a pro player in the game. So I will show you 3 steps to perform broken movement in Call of Duty Mobile. So watch my steps carefully, to be a broken movement player. Step 1. Sprint plus slide, plus turn 180 degree like this. Remember, this require practice. Notice my joystick movement also. Step 2. Sprint plus slide, plus turn 180 degree, plus jump like this. This require a lots of practice. So practice this a lot during game. Step 3. Sprint plus slide, plus turn 180 degree, plus jump, plus screen rotate the enemy like this. Remember, this requires a lots of practice. Let's see the broken movement in slow motion for better understanding. Number 8. Always aim at headshot. During sprint, don't make your crosshair facing down. Instead, always position your crosshair to head level. This will help you improving your headshots and will improve your aim in both hip fire and one tapping. So make practice to this skill and you will get your aim more perfect in the game. Number 9. Don't rush towards enemy. This is the most important one. Don't rush towards enemy without judging your enemy movement and strategy in close combat. Always prepare yourself and use dodge and cover options and watch enemy's movement and most important what class enemy is using. Because if enemy is using pump class or flash class, then you can't beat him in close combat. So prepare yourself always before close combat. Number 10. Use Mechanic Class. Using Mechanic Class in close combat is best option to win every battle royale. Mechanic Class basically block enemy sight and you can kill enemy in instant. With this class you can also hear enemy footsteps from distance. With this class you can also see vehicles through walls. So I will recommend you to use Mechanic Class for winning every close combat fights. This class is also best for last man standing fight, because it will detect distant enemy instantly. Number 11. Use smoke grenades and nova gas. Smoke grenades are best for distracting enemies. Use smoke grenade in close range to take a hide or to confuse enemy. Use smoke grenades near class upgradation and healing teammates to hide from enemy fire. Number 12. Use melee weapon. If enemy is firing at you then make him waste bullets, so use melee weapon to slide, jump, sprint, and when enemy reload weapon make him hit with assault or SMG. T Number 13. Upgrade class before close fight. Upgrading class before close combat is best option because when you upgrade your class you can use class for long time than normal class, so upgrade your class after first safe zone and before last safe zone fight. Hope so. These tips and settings will help you out understanding how to fight and survive in close combat in COD Mobile, so if you have any questions or suggestions then comment me below. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel.